All right, guys. Uh, this is Chris with the Pulling Around Show. I'm here with my partner, Sean King. Man, we got a great one for you today. We got Lazaro Martinez. Is that yep. correct? That's correct. Um, 17 year old pool phenom from uh, New Bronzeville, Texas. New Braunfels, Texas. Um, just won uh, SVB's Junior Open. Man, how, how, how was that? Uh, it was brutal. Um, single elimination is tough for anybody. You know, you just, you can't have an off day. If you lose, you know, if you start off bad and you lose your first match, you're out. And I think, I think that's pretty brutal. And the first couple of days, it's a race to seven. And, uh, you definitely can't make no mistakes in a race to seven. Cause once you go down about three or four games, it's basically a wrap. No, you did. In the race to seven, you didn't really lose very many games. It was like seven zero, seven one, maybe seven two. Yeah, exactly. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a, I have, I was practicing a lot uh, before, uh, before the matches. I would get up early because they had a only an hour of practicing. Matches would start at about ten, and they would let you practice at nine, and then you could practice before your matches. And I did that every day. Was that the first time you met Shane? No, no, no. I met him when I was like eight, many times in uh, Vegas. I met him many times before. See your, uh, see your mentor or your, your, your pool superhero. My idol, yes, my pool idol. Yeah. Now this is the back to back, JIC championships. I think. Uh, you've won, a, you've won two, two titles, big back to back, right? Well, in the past couple months, I won the um, the junior all around that D Atkins, Raw Hannah, they had that, and then I won that, and then the following week was the JIC. I won the JIC eighteen and under and the pro am, and now I just won the SVB Open. Wow! And then next month is the JIC finale, which is in Chesapeake, Virginia, uh, with the, and then in the, in the international there's, it's, they're, they're having it uh, at the international. What's the best you've done in that? Uh, well, this is only the set, the second, second one. And, uh, the first year I got fourth, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping to, the way I've been playing it, I feel like I should win it. Okay, first question for me. Why do they call you Little Laz? Uh, well, when I was younger, uh, my me and my dad had the same name. So they always called him Big Laz. And when I first started playing, they were like, oh, Little Laz. So it, that name kind of just stuck. Are you bigger than him yet? I'm taller, yeah. I'm a little taller now. Now I am. Well, that's pretty cool to be able to play pool with your dad. Uh, I didn't get to as much when I was your age, but he taught me pool. And, and now he's 73, I'm 37, and mm -hmm. we get to play together three or four days a week. So do you do you get to play with your dad? No, no, no. He's always working, and I'll just – I usually just go uh, to where we practice, and I, I just practice by myself. Where do you practice? Um, I don't have a pool hall. But we have like just like a like a place where you turn into just a big old man cave and we put a nine foot diamond in there. I just practice on there. Yeah, there's not really there's not really uh, many pool halls around here, and uh, the closest ones probably uh, Skinny Bob. You've heard of that Skinny yeah. Bob? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's 45, 45 minutes away in Austin. How often do you get up there? Uh, well, lately I've been going there quite frequently, uh, maybe about two to three times a week. You driving? Yeah. All right. Is this your first car? Yep. Uh, it was my first truck. I've had, it, right. had it for, I think, about not too long. Not too long. So do you play any okay. – do you get to play any tournaments other than matchroom stuff or – JFC stuff. Um, local you, ones, but it's just it's just hard to travel to a lot of the big big ones. You know, just the cost, of, you know, everything is just super expensive. But uh, do you, do you, do you, do you go ahead? 
What are your teachers like and, and your school like on uh, having to miss days of school to go go and oh, compete? They all know. They all know now. Um, they Yeah, they pretty much all know. So, I mean, I don't really have a struggle with missing school as much as I did uh, like freshman year. But then and once they all knew, then they all sort of realized. And I get I get my homeworks like in advance just so I could do it. And it's, it's a little easier now. How are your grades? Okay. Oh, I have to pass. I have to be passing. I'm passing all of My sponsorship requires it, so I mean, it's a must. Let's talk about that sponsorship uh, that requires your grades to be good. Who's that? Jam Up. Jam Up. Uh, a uh, clothing brand, one of my favorites. I've always, I've always loved Jam Up. Jam Up's always been one of the best. Uh, shout out to Damien. Thank you for that. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I just think all sponsors should have that, you know, require, require you to have A's and B's. I think it's just overall great for the player because it shows what kind of player you have. You don't want a player who's slacking and failing in grades, obviously, because – you know that you don't want someone like that to represent your brand, so I think it's important for me to be passing. Well, it requires discipline to 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 get right. the good yeah. grades too. So yeah, just, exactly. Just carries over. Are you a bit. junior? Are you a junior a or a senior? I'm a junior. Okay. So this year and one more year, mm-hmm. and then uh, any any talks of of more school or or college or. Um. I don't know. It's always been a tricky one, but I mean, if I do go to college, it'd probably be for business. That's what that's what the girls are, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he has any problem meeting girls. Yeah, no. Yeah. You don't need to go to college for that. No. Well, I'm not pushing college. Uh, I'm a college dropout, mm-hmm. pretty much. And uh, but I do believe in education, and uh, I know, yeah. already know you're smart. I already know yeah. you're smart. So. Yeah. So I, I got a question. I got a question about uh, your friends. Uh-huh. Do you have friends outside of pool that don't play pool at all? Yeah, yeah, or... yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I have. I have a bunch of friends that. Well, all, I have all types of friends. All types of friends. Do they understand pool? Like the ones that aren't pool players? Do they? Do they like follow you and and cheer yeah. you on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, when I was at school, uh, no, no, when I was at the SUB Open. Uh, on Snapchat, my friends are like sending me pictures. Like they were like watching me play on the computers, because uh, Matchroom had streamed it live on Matchroom Multisport on the YouTube. So yeah. they were watching me play from like the computers when I was like, they were like, "Good job, like, let's go." Like, like, they were just cheering me on. So you I, I got a question. Good. Well, it's it's just off. It's random, but I just thought about Raw Hannah. Uh, how much time have you got to spend with him? Uh, well, I the JIC, uh, it's about once a month. So I'll see him once a month, and then we'll spend time. Like, we'll hang out, you know, besides from the pool. We'll go and eat and chill. But, yeah, Raw Hannah, man, perfect. Perfect for the sport. And uh, I think without without him, you know, I don't think this JIC thing would – him, Trina, and uh, Corey, without them, it, I don't think this would even be a thing. Well, he's inspirational to me. I mean, if you just if you're even around him for more than sixty seconds, you kind of get inspired, you know. Yeah, his personality, just, his personality is just so like outgoing, you know. It's just like it pumps you up just hearing him talk. I think you need to hire him as your agent. Yeah. Right. Right. Right away. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Right away. Exactly. <clears throat> any. Uh, any. Um. um talk of uh, visiting with uh, Joe Rogan yet? No, oh, I wish. God, that'd be awesome. Because he's basically right next door, isn't he? Uh, he's there now. Yeah. He's an awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that, that, that'd be cool. That'd be something. All right, about. Joe, talk to this kid. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be yeah. freaking, that'd be awesome. I think he can beat Jeremy Jones. At what? Cool. <laughs> Nine ball have a chance. I don't know about one pocket. One pocket. You play moving, one moving, moving games. Yeah, it's gonna be right. tough. That's a whole different game right there. What's your Fargo right now? Uh, I think last time I checked, like a seven fifteen. I think it was seven twenty. It was seven twenty when I looked. When I reached oh, out right. to you, it was seven twenty. 
Oh, wow. It must have went up then. I was at a 7.15, like, a couple weeks ago. And it'll go it'll go up again now, so. Yeah, for sure. So, we know you're a nine-ball player. Mm-hmm. We we know you're a nine-ball player. So does everyone else. Mm-hmm. Along with along with ten-ball. Yeah. What about one-pocketed and eight-ball and uh, bar table pool? What What is – uh? I I'm I play mostly every game. Uh, yeah, I play mostly every game. The game that I would admit that I probably don't play a whole lot would probably be eight ball. I'm not I'm not a big fan of eight ball. I've I've never had ever since I was a kid. I've never liked eight ball. It's always been nine ball, ten ball, one pocket. It's just eight ball to me is just boring. I've I've never liked it at all. Okay. So- so do you, do you get to make any money at these events? Uh yeah, for we got we got some money for the uh SVB. Who's so, we? Uh I think I think the whole I think every, I think everybody got paid in the SVB. Like Oh, I see. Yeah, I think everybody got paid whether you lost the first round, I think you got some money back. So could you That's pretty good. Could have, could you have played at the Texas Open? Yeah, I played I played at the Texas Open. Did you did you how'd you do yeah. it? I got I, I made it to the final final twenty, I think I got like twentieth maybe. I lost to um, Daniel Schneider. You don't know him? Daniel Schneider. Daniel Schneider, he's from he's from Switzerland. Yeah, he shot well. Well, if he, if he came from Switzerland, he's got to play really good. Yeah, well, he lives here now. He's been living here for a while. Okay, let's talk about this man cave in your practice, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, are you a practicer or, or not? Uh, I think when I, like, lately, like, for the big tournaments, like, lately, I, I have been grinding a lot. But, um... I wouldn't say I'm a practicer, practicer, but I mean, I'll practice, I'll practice for like lately I've been practicing for like three hours, like just, just breaking and just like certain shots and drills. Like I've, I've been, I've been practicing a lot this past couple of weeks. Well, I don't know what you practiced in the past, but someone had to show you what to do. You're, you're so consistent when you shoot balls, uh, the object ball is going right in the middle of the hole. Um, you're very accurate. Mm-hmm. Um, who taught you how to pocket balls so well, or, or, or has it always been like that? Um, honestly, I, I, to me, like, when I started at a young age, yeah, honestly, like, even my dad, like, we kind of noticed, like, it was more of a natural thing. Like, it never took me, like, super long to, like, tap that. You know what I mean? I kind of just... I fell into it, you know what I mean? It was just sort of natural. Okay, well, if you're playing pool when you're eight, right? When did you start? I started when I was six. When you were six. Who are you playing pool with besides your father when you're six? Um, Locals, I mean, just – there used to be a pool hall here, pool hall called Bob Zillius, but it, it closed down like four years ago. And – uh me and my brother, we would always practice, but he was he was never a, a practicer. He just likes to goof around and fire balls. But I've always been, you know, try to be better. But he just he's a, he's a goof. He likes to goof around. How old is he? He is one year younger than me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Have you guys looked pretty much alike? No, no. Well, have you have you saw us? You would you wouldn't even know we were brothers. Oh wow. People always say we look like, but I don't think so. So what motivated okay, you let... Go ahead. No. Nope. What motivated you to pursue pursue pool? Um I think I I grew up because my dad always had like uh like he had like a case pool of like it was a case of like, like uh, Qatar videos, like the old, like, like the old, old pool videos, or like the younger Shane, like, like two thousands, like the Qatars and all that. And 
I would always watch that. All the videos of just Shane and Alex and just Scott Frost and all of them. And just growing up on that, like watching them, like running out so effortlessly and Shane taking the titles all the time. And uh, I think seeing that, that lifestyle, I think that kind of motivated me to wanting to play more and win more and practice more. I think that motivated me more than anything to just keep playing. Got some more, Chris? Go ahead. I know you got a whole little list, man. I got a whole, I got a whole list, but go ahead. Keep going. Um, what's the, What has been some of your biggest challenges playing pool? Um, I think school and just time and just being tired. Like, usually, like, cause I'm, I going to school and just, you know, being in class and being flooded with work and then being after just coming after com, coming home after school, just being tired. And I think practice and just having time to just practice, just, it just sucks. Cause I'm just so mentally drained being at school. So and then by the time I like I practice and I'm missing balls, like my head's just so mentally drained. It's just like like it just kind of gets boring after a while. So I think for sure being disciplined and having the right mindset coming into what I'm playing is very important. And I think since like I work out, I do powerlifting as a sport. And I think powerlifting just helping me and working out, I think that actually helps me more than anything to to keep playing. I think sports is really good for your mind and overall having a good health is really important for pool also, just the mindset alone. Well, I, I'm the one who I'm the one who just interjects and has random questions, okay? Mm-hmm. And mine's I'm I'm totally focused on mindset. I probably always will be. Mm-hmm. Um that's what that's what parallels our sport to any other sport. Yeah. Um how much has your mental game gone up in the last year? Uh, a lot. Uh, a lot, actually. Um, I used to get really mad at the little things. like Just like sometimes like when I would play a slow player, just watching them play slow, like it would just make me so like mad, like mentally. Like, like it would just like just like, – playing somebody slow would make me mad, like just like watching them play. Like it would just like hurt me to the core. Like hurry up, dude. Like come on, like – but I think, like, and then, like, sometimes, like, I would miss, like, easy shots. Like, I wouldn't show my emotions, but mentally, like, I'd be I'd be pissed. Like, I'd be pissed about it. But I think now that, you know, I've matured a little more in my game, like, I, I try not to let the little things get to me because I know, like, I'll get another shot. So, like, I'll have to make, make the best of what I got. So, I think I've matured pretty well in the past year. Okay. Um, we got to talk about coaches. Mm-hmm. Most champions mm-hmm. have multiple coaches. We got to know yours. Yeah, um, that has that's all. That's always been something people ask me about. And honestly, uh, I I don't really have like a pool coach at the moment. Um, I did. I was uh, a while back talking with Joey Gray and Jeremy Jones. They did come down to to San Antonio and we and for a little bit and we did work on some stuff, but besides that, I've never actually had like a coach coach you know who would follow through my everyday progress. I think that's something uh, I really need to step up. How was Joey as a teacher? He's great, you know. I I think I think we're alike because you know we both work out and we play pool, and I think our mindsets. Are, are very like and I mean he plays phenomenal he, he just plays phenomenal and I think I think he's a real a real big help to the community well Don't he think. came through junior pool much much like you when he yeah. was 12 yeah. when he was 12 13 years old I was fortunate enough because I live here in Oklahoma City where he lives mm-hmm. and yeah. it's kind of like the little lads of of then. Because yeah. uh, he's 12 winning everything. And he's playing mm-hmm. 300 a game, one pocket. I mean, you yeah. he, he can't drive a car. And, yeah, uh, right. But I think you and him have a lot of a lot of similarities with success at a young age and being in the, in the spotlight mm-hmm. uh, exactly. so young. Mm-hmm. Um, I can see that a total fit. 
Yeah, exactly. Okay. Not related to pool, because because everyone for the rest of time is gonna get to know your pool game and your pool yeah. career. I want to talk about you and what you like outside mm-hmm. of pool. It could mm-hmm. be from your favorite foods to favorite games you like yeah. to play. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's let's talk about what you're doing off the table. Let's get to know you a little bit. Uh, well, as I said before, I I do powerlifting, so I work out, and after school, like I'll work out, go play pool for a while, eat, and I run. I do track. No, I do. I do a lot of sports. So when I'm not playing pool, I'm still active and I'm doing stuff. Do you and run track for the school? I did, but now I just I run like because I have a period in uh, at school where it's just track. But I don't let's do... see the flex. Let's see the. Oh, let's right see the now, flex, now, lad. Now, Come now, on, right do now, it. Now, right now, hey! now, right <laughs> I see it. Yeah, I, I, don't ha- I don't have a pump right now. He's not getting stiffed by anyone. Oh yeah, no. So what do you what do you shoot with? Right now I shoot with a Q Tech Ghost. Normal length? I have a, a Q Tech Ghost. I have an I, I'm using an extension on it. I'm 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 I'm, I'm kinda of weird because sometimes depending on how I'm feeling, like I'll use an extension. And I won't use an extension. It just depends how I'm feeling that day, and I'll either have the extension on or I'll have it off. It just it just depends how I'm feeling. The long one or the little one? Uh, I use the six inch one. Okay. Mm. And then break cue. BK rush. Jump cue. Uh, you have the predator one. And then chalk. Tom chalk. Okay. Tom, I, I, once I, I used to like switch for a while, for a while. I, I really loved the Kamui one for a while. I think everybody used the Kamui for a while at one point. I used that and then I, you know, I would switch to just regular master truck, but then a while for the past, I think two and a half, two years now, I've been using Tom truck V10. Oh, wait. I gotta stop asking pool questions. We gotta ask other stuff. We got one more though. We got one more, the most important one. What's that? What kind of case do you have? Predator case. Gotta talk to John Barton. (laughs) Well, uh, do you have a sponsor? Is Predator a sponsor for you? Used to be. They they used to be a sponsor. I did not resign. And currently looking for a sponsor at the moment. Whoa! Let's go, guys. Yeah. You're watching this. You're you're watching the best as it gets. He's right here in yep. America. Uh, yep. Currently looking for a Q sponsor. Q sponsor. And not just someone to give you a Q, right? Exactly. You don't need a Q. Yeah, I I just I need people who are going to obviously help support me for travel and all that because i mean giving every any sponsor could just give cues you know what i mean uh but i think for me for someone who's going to travel and go to these matching events like it's not cheap at all like i need somebody who's going to help with expenses fly and travel and it's just hard doing it with your own money and having to win to make a profit you know what i mean okay let's go let, let, let's we're gonna come back to pool okay uh favorite food you could eat every day chicken alfredo either that or chicken or rice well as a power lifter like don't you have to eat a bunch mm-hmm. so what's well, the main meal chicken and rice yeah. chicken any, rice. any, uh, any vegetables right. Steak, honestly, steak, steak and broccoli, steak and broccoli. Okay. I've been cr- girlfriend, girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. Yep. Okay. Year and a half now. What's her name? Emma. Emma, and does mm-hmm. she watch your matches? All the time. All the time. Does she play? No, no, no. She does not play. She does soccer, but 
No, I, I don't think I could. I don't think I could ever have a pool girlfriend. I, I don't think. Why is that? I don't know. I just. I don't think I can handle like just having two people or just having somebody like. I don't know. I, I just. I just. I just couldn't do it. I just can't. Does she get to go with you to some of the events? No, no, because not old enough. <laughs> yeah, well, not that, but I just don't think like like she would want to miss the amount of school that I miss because I I do miss a lot of school and I just don't think she could miss as much as I do. But she has gone to like she has gone she she comes with me to practice, but not really into big tournaments. She just watches. You're practicing and she's on her phone. Surprisingly, no. She watches. She right. actually watches. Surprisingly, she may she may get interested in it. Then she sees how good know. she sees how good you're doing in it. She's like, yeah, she, she she gets mad because you know I make a lot of money. Like like when I gamble, like I'll go and gamble. Uh, you know, some local people and she'll get mad. She's like, she's like. You know, you make what I make in two weeks, or like what she makes in two weeks, I'll make it like about an hour. And she's like, "Man, I wish I grew up on pool." Blah blah blah. Like, like I I got I got money. I I when I won the SVB Open, I think I got like I think like twenty five hundred, I think. And then she was like, "Man, that's what I made in a year of work." Like. <laughs> Yeah, but you're not getting paid for that. You're, that that's thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of practice. Thousands yeah. of hours. Yeah, like everybody <laughs> just everybody thinks like, oh man, you're lucky. Like, no, y'all don't actually see how much time I actually have to like put in and how much school I have to miss. Like, I there's a lot of things I do behind the scenes that y'all don't even know that I'm doing, and y'all just think. No, you're making like four dollars an hour if you do the math. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the practice time going in, and, and then and then you finally win, and only one guy gets to win. Exactly. So, um, I I don't know how much time we've got here, Chris. Uh, I personally have about ten more minutes. Um, I want to make sure that we we get to know Laz, not just as a pool player. So, what kind of questions you got for for? His personal life. So, what's your favorite TV show? What do you got to watch every week? Uh, I'm not really a TV person, honestly. I, I've never been a TV person. So, not no sports or anything. Oh, I mean, I, I mean, I watch sports. Like, I watch football, but when it comes to like TV shows, like people have Netflix, like I, I'm not really one of those binge watch, just watch TV type people. I have to be out active on my feet. So, yeah, he doesn't no. even own a couch. <laughs> I don't. I don't ever sit on a couch. I'll tell you that. So you hadn't watched? Have you watched any of the pool movies, like Pool Hall Junkies or Color of Money or anything like that? Oh yeah, I mean I've watched those for sure. Yeah, yeah. I've watched. I've watched all of those millions of times. What do you think about starring as uh, the new uh, Vincent in in a, in a redone Color of Money? <laughs> you'd be you'd be Vince. I'd be flattered. I'd be flattered. That that'd be awesome. Well, who would be uh, Paul Newman? Jeremy Jones. <laughs> Jeremy Jones. Jeremy yeah. Jones. Yeah, actually, that it would probably be Jeremy Jones. Maybe that actually be pretty awesome. So I honestly, I emailed. I got uh, Martin Scorsese's email, and emailed him asking about about doing the about doing the third part. I haven't heard nothing back, but still. Uh -huh. You know, you get Martin, he owes me 50. All right, good dude. That'd be mm -hmm. awesome. That would that would be major. So um, what? Go ahead. Let's talk about your family real quick. Let's talk about your brothers, sisters, mom, dad. Uh, what part of what, what can you? I mean, as a kid, those are your sponsors. And I'm not calling you a kid, but you played pool at six and on. Yeah. Those were your sponsors. So let's give a shout out to them. Who are they? Yeah, shout out to my dad and shout out to my mother and my brother uh, pushing me through every day. Um, I think my dad pushed me the hardest every day uh, just to keep playing and playing and playing. After school, I practiced. I think I practiced a lot when I was younger, than more than what I do now. 
And that's because I had, you know, I'm, I'm scared. I have all the time in the world. You know, I don't have anything to worry about. Um, but yeah, I think I practiced a lot more when I was younger. And thank you to my dad, obviously, uh, you know, just throwing me in the pool hall, you know, and just practice, practice. I, I would play to the bar close like every single day, like six or seven hours, just there playing. And I don't think I, I don't think I ever played. I never played um, a game of nine ball for three months. Like when I first started, I didn't even play a game of nine ball for three months straight. It was just drills, 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 and ball pocketing for about three months straight. And then after three months, I played like my first game of nine ball. That's brutal. unique. It was brutal. Brutal. That is unique. Um, Chris? Mm-hmm. Yes? Did you pull... Did, I know you Googled Lazaro Martinez before this. Yeah, on my phone. Just like, just like you did. Just like I did. Yeah. Just like yeah. I did. Um, well, let's talk about your, your, your... Out of all this, the things that you've won or placed really high in, what are you the most proud of? And you can't say this recent one. Besides this recent one, what are you, what are you most proud of or what was the hardest to win? I think that would probably. I think um, I I honestly was going to say the SVB Open. Honestly, I know but you were. I think it would honestly probably be the junior all around the banks, the one pocket, the nine ball. I think that would probably be my biggest accomplishment. Because, yeah. So you. Yeah. Because because. Like I said, it was the junior all around, and then the following week was the JIC, and I, I won six out of seven events that week, and that was a grind, and I think that that was probably like my biggest accomplishment. That was seven like, events. Six. Out, I won six out of seven. Not matches, events. Events. You won six titles. Mm, out of the seven. Name them. It's got to be like nine ball banks, one pocket. What else? I won nine ball, one pocket, Banks ring game. Then when the JSC, I won the 18U nine ball. Then I won the Pro-Am nine ball. And then you can count this as a 6-1, but I count 6-1. I won the, the all-around winner because, you know, because once who the person who wins the most events or places one of the most events wins the all around and I won that, so that'd be yeah. Six. So six. And then what's the one you lost? I lost. Uh, it okay. So I lost the nine. I lost. I lost the banks, but then I won the banks ring game. It was weird. Okay. So I I lost the banks in the tournament and then they did because you know how Derby does like they'll have they'll have like five players do the banks ring game. I did that. We did that and I won that. So I lost the nine. I lost the banks tournament, but then when I did the ring game banks, I won the banks ring game. Not lost, meaning you didn't get first. I didn't That's... get first. Yeah. <laughs> no. Wow. So I don't know if that'll be done again. I mean, that's that's probably the most dominant performance oh, yeah. ever. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, it was a grind. I think, I think I was there for I don't even know a long time. It was over there in Louisville, Kentucky, at Row Yards. Shout out to Row Yards. Some of the best, some of the best tables there. All nine foot, brutal. All right, so, Chris, uh, I, I've I've got like no more questions, just random ones that might come up, but. Uh, I've got to go in the next few minutes. Um, so let me ask you three more questions, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll end. We'll let him go. He, he right. may have he may have homework. <laughs> All right. So, what advice would you give to someone looking to pursue pool competitively? Uh, make sure you have time, and when you if you do or when you do. Make sure to practice. You it, you just have to practice. I mean, if you don't practice, you're never going to get nowhere. You have to practice. Just like any other sport, you got to have discipline. You got to have practice. You got to make time, and you got to sacrifice 
outside things like going to parties or friends or you know going to hang out like you have to sacrifice certain things and i've sacrificed i've sacrificed a lot of things in my personal life just to go play pool and i think every year during school like homecoming and prom like i've missed i've missed that every year for uh for the event in virginia like like everybody's like, oh, are you going to prom? Like you going to homecoming? I'm like, no, I got a tournament. Like, it's just, it's just a lot of school things and events that I, I that I do, that I'm gone and I'm missing for pool events. It's a do great you, answer. So looking back, is there anything that you would do differently in your pool career? Um, get a coach early on. Like an like an actual actual coach, just to help me and be more disciplined, more. So to hold hold you accountable. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and last one, and then we'll let you go. Are you going to Derby next year or in in January? No, because I think I think they changed the age. You gotta be twenty one. That's right. You you gotta you gotta be twenty one now. Uh, yeah, you, you got to be 21 now. I think that that's, that kind of sucks. Well, we heard we heard the rumor yesterday that mm-hmm. this may be the last year that it's at the at the horseshoe. Oh, really? Yes. So. Yeah, I I think that really needs to change because that sucks for a lot of the for the upcoming players. Because I forgot who's uh I think Victor Zelensky. I think he's only 20 and he can't even play in the Derby. Yeah, so, I mean, I, th- I think that sucks for a lot of uh, – for younger players coming up looking to be in, in the mix with the pros. I think they definitely need to change that soon. But it, it well, is Chris, Go ahead. Chris is going to close us out, but before before he does, I want to just say thank you for, for spending this time with us. Uh, yeah, for sure. You're, you're an inspiration to me. When I talk to young pool players, I point towards you. I say, I say watch, watch what he's doing. Mm-hmm. And uh, – they're always really happy when they – they're always really delighted when they when they watch you play. Goes, he's 17, he's 14, he's whatever the age is. Yeah, exactly. And I think it ins- it inspires people to, to pick up a cue younger, a lot mm-hmm. younger. Like his shirt said, he's just a kid. Yeah, I'm just yeah. a kid. Yeah, th- that's always been a saying. Uh, always been a saying, like, when I, was, when I was younger, like, growing up in the bar and, like, like my dad would always like, cause they would always like want to play me even. And my dad was like, no, nah, he needs weight. Like he's just a child. Like he's just a kid. So then like, I've had that ever since I was, you know, young. So when, when I got, when I got sponsored by Jan, I was like, you know, can you put that on my shirt? So, I mean, I thought that was pretty, that was pretty neat. Will you do a, uh, will you do another interview with us uh, with some, some follow-up questions we can play shape on? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, Laz, like he said, appreciate you joining us. Yep, Folks, yep. if y'all enjoyed content like this, hit the subscribe button down below. Give us mm-hmm. a thumbs up and leave us a comment and let us know how we're doing. And we'll see y'all next time on the Pulling Around Show. Yep. All right. Thank y'all. Thank you.